Hello there, everybody! This is Silent Mist, and welcome back to Pokemon Leaf Green. In the last episode, I do believe we took down a certain gym leader, and in this episode, I need to teach Noodle Thunderbolt, because Noodle has had an okay electric-type attack up until this point. Shockwave, not the best thing ever, but Thunderbolt, on the other hand, oh my god, that's pretty much like the best attack in the universe, right? I, I think it is. It, it's a fantastic attack, and... Yeah, no Noodle needs to learn some more fantastic attacks because as awesome as Noodle is, Noodle uh, the attacks are a little lacking, but that's okay. That is a okay. All of our Pokemon are finally starting to get some really good attacks, which I am very pleased to say. Uh, <laughs> because up until this point, they've had some pretty meh meh things. But um, in today's episode, we are going to do a thing, which is heading over to Viridian City again because I mean we were just here, but if we go back. I promise you there is a thing that we can do. We need to go into here because, you know, the guy, uh, the Pidgeotto isn't a part of our team. No, 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 no. Instead, we need, you know, that one guy who we swapped out. This guy right here. And let's see. Pidgeotto, goodbye. Thank you very much for being a nice member of my team. So since it is a new day for me, I am no longer covered by the stigma that was yesterday's recording session, which was just sadness for everyone involved. Oh my god. Ugh, stupid Pokemon fainting. <laughs> but, um, I got my controller that I've been talking about for the last couple of episodes. Just came in. Oh, Jesus, this is gonna be, uh, this is gonna be scary. I'm gonna, uh, beef, yeah, you know what? You're probably good as a lead. Uh, if you remember, last time we came down here, we fought our rival. If we come down here again, we're gonna fight him again, which is... Just the most exciting of things. Collected all the badges? Yes. You're going to whip me as a warm-up for the Pokemon League? Jesus, what a butt. But, um, yeah, we got... I got the new controller, which I've been really excited about. Um, although, now that I have it, I think... Oh, God, it's at level 42. Holy levels. Um, now that I have it, I kind of want to mod it because the controller itself feels really nice, but it's really, really light. Um... I kind of want to take it apart and like throw in a weight just to give it a little bit more heft and whoo critical hit that is that is very nice to see um it just it, the controller itself is really like it's a super nintendo controller that's well it's a knockoff super nintendo controller that's meant for um usb things but i think if i were to uh put a little strip of metal or something in there just something to weigh it down a little bit it'll feel much better in the hand which ah what 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 why isn't this an executor? Like, why do you have a level 45 execute? I know you can evolve it with a leaf stone. W why? Why haven't you? And wow, one shot. That is, that is quite impressive, all things considered. <laughs> a Rhyhorn. Um, let's see. If you're going to send out a Rhyhorn, I think I'm going to send out Noodle. No, Tomato. <laughs> Tomato needs a couple of attacks. Let's let's just smack him in the face with our strongest attack because we can and it's free, I think. Frenzy Plant, just take him out. You are done. Take the pain. It is that attack is so insanely powerful. I held my breath for a moment because I was kind of worried that I was about to eat my own words and that he was about to hit or he was about to survive, which would have made me really sad because he would have been the first Pokemon to live through that. But oh god. Alakazam, um, hmm, who is going to take, Alakazam, I have a feeling is going to be a big problem, like, as, as time progresses, just because it's a freaking Alakazam, those Pokemon are terrifying in, like, generation, in the original Gen 1 games, Alakazam was probably the single strongest Pokemon in the game that wasn't a legendary, just because Psychic was already the, wow, <laughs> Jesus, Psychic was already the strongest type in the game, and, Oh, wow. I am so sorry, Noodle, but you are going to take some hardcore abuse right now because... Eey, yep, Alexam is kind of terrifyingly strong. Come on, paralyze it, paralyze it, paralyze it. No! One more para... Uh, huh? He used... He used Future Sight twice? I mean, Joe Schmo Trainer, I can see doing that, but... You? Okay, there we go. I mean, we're dead. But at least that makes sense now. Um, oh crap, but our incoming Pokemon is totally gonna get smacked in the face in the future site. Who's gonna take it? I think Beef has the best chance of surviving it. So, brace for impact. Ugh. Come on, you're, you're tanky and you have a lot of HP. I believe in you. 
Oh, well, yeah, you did survive. Kind of hurt, but you survived. Uh, let's see. Let's just use Surf on you. That, no, oh, I was gonna say, no, you can't do that, but he moved first. But yeah, Surf, I think we'll have the best chance of just taking him out. Yep, Stab and Surf. Yeah, he didn't stand a chance with that much HP. A uh, Gyarados, oh no, our one electric type attack. Ah, oh, crap. I was really meaning for him to take out the Gyarados. I completely forgot that he had one. Ooh, this is actually mildly scarifying. If this guy uses like Dragon Dance a couple of times, we're gonna have a really big problem. Um, I think just to avoid that, we're gonna revive Noodle and we're gonna hope. Okay, it's gonna use Leer. I am, I'm okay with that. As long, I don't even know if it knows Dragon Dance. As long as it doesn't know it and it doesn't use it. Uh, okay. I mean, we're both water type Pokemon, but if you really wanted to do that, then I won't stop you, I guess. Um, but I am going to give what's his face a little bit more HP. Uh, where the heck are my waters? I know I bought some waters. There you are. And yep come back to almost full HP. Man, I really like this controller. I just got it and it feels, oh, uh, wait. <laughs> Lol. Uh, yeah, Gyarados, just keep keep on using your water type attacks on me. That is gonna be more than okay. Just, yeah, lower my defense and keep using water type attacks on me. That is the best strategy ever. I I didn't even know that, no, I didn't even know that that was its ability, but apparently it is. Uh, I guess we have to just spam this attack until he takes moderate damage. I guess, yeah, he doesn't have Dragon Dance, which is really good because that would have been just absolutely... Huh. I, I don't remember who it was, but there was this one trainer that... Uh, what, I think it was maybe Drake from the Elite Four um, in Ruby and Sapphire where one of his Pokemon just was able to spam Dragon Dance a bunch of times and then that just ruined that experience because I had to restart because I lost and it was just sadness left and right. Man, wow, we are just whittling this guy's HP down one small attack at a time. If you if you could knock out beef, that would be like perfectly fine, um, but it doesn't seem like that's gonna work. Oh, Jesus, I accidentally hit the fast forward button. I bound uh, the fast forward button to this controller just because I do like having the ability to fast forward if I'm going through a battle off screen just because there's no reason to do it, but are you gonna, wow, you did not heal. I am actually surprised. Um, just just keep on doing that not healing thing. Uh, but we are gonna hit you in the face with a Thunderbolt and now you're, I don't understand. The gym leaders all heal, but then Rival Pants doesn't? Okay, um, I am a-okay with that, but yep, die, thank you very much. Ooh, Beef got a level up. That is very nice. And Noodle, if you could get a couple more level, I need Noodle to like level up just a couple more times and then I'll be able to just use the rare candies to bring him up to level 55. He is 14 levels away and we have seven or eight rare candies. So we're gonna have to just do another seven or six levels. Um, hmm. I don't know which one of these is stronger. I think Thunderbolt has base 95 and Surf has base 90. Ow, wow, that was very much painful. But then again, he is 12 levels above us, so that may- Oh. Oh. Oh, I should have used Surf because it was raining. I forgot about that. Mm, all right, yep, we're dead. Hmm. <laughs> that is very unfortunate. Uh, let's go back into Beef. I would send out Pudding and use Earthquake, but uh, Charizard's flying type, so that's not gonna do a whole lot. Let's use Surf. Hopefully, don't knock me out, please. Uh, oh yeah, we tank that like there was no tomorrow. And hopefully we can take him out with that. I don't think we're gonna, but oh no. Oh wait, ha <laughs> ha, quick attack, die. <laughs> I love quick attack. It always comes through at that one instant where I need to attack first. But um, what? I was just careless, you got money, yay. I've been wondering where the heck the um amulet coin is because we haven't gotten it yet. And I actually have no clue where it is, so. Yeah, there's there's that. Um, <laughs> maybe, nah, I mean, we're already so far in the game that I don't think having an amulet cone would really benefit us that much, but I do want to heal up because we did just um, take a fair bit of damage while we were in that fight, so let's do that. Uh, yep, thank you very much, woman, and I need to go pick up some items. Um, so I've got the rest of the series, like the general way that I'm going to do things, 
planned out in my head, and I guess I can share most of it with you. Obviously, there are a bunch of legendaries that we haven't yet encountered. Um, we'll be fighting those at a later point. Um, do we have any antidotes? No, I, I've needed antidotes for like forever. Let me let me just grab a bunch of them. But um, we're gonna be fighting. We're going towards the elite four right now, and then we're going to go do the legendary stuff after we beat the elite four. And then I do believe the Elite Four gets... Or no, then there's a couple more uh, endgame stuff. A couple more endgame things that we're going to need to do. And then I do believe the Elite Four gets stronger after you've beaten them once and you go in for the rematch. So then we'll finish off the series by uh, going and fighting the more challenging Elite Four, which is going to be absolute hell, considering I am hilariously underleveled right now. Oh, wow. Um, and that's not going to get any better when we do by the end of this game. We're going to maybe be across the board 10 levels higher than we are right now. Which, let me tell you, we're still going to be weaker than the Elite Four the first time, even if we are 10 levels higher. Uh, but the Boulder Badge, thank you very much for letting me pass. Oh, the music here. I love the music here. Like, j just listen to it for a little while. Oh, and I guess that's the music because we're gonna cross the water now. But man, oh, never mind. The music or the water is oh god, yeah, the music is still there. That is that's a nice touch. I very much like what they did with that. Uh is there any free items for us to get? But yeah, the music here. Oh my god, I absolutely love it. And uh yeah, we're just gonna pass by all these guys to check our badges. And as you can see, we have like all the badges that we're gonna need, so we can get right to the Elite Four. Ah, uh, let's oh. And we're going to get into a battle. Who are we going to fight in here? A uh, Slowpoke. How nice. A level 22 Slowpoke at that. Okay, let's uh, let's just quickly escape from that. And any items over here? There's an item over there. Yep, let's go grab that. And there are a couple of... Po I think there are a bunch of Fieros and one other... Fieros and Raticate in this grass, so I'm not even going to bother fighting them. But yep, there's my Volcano Badge. Let me pass. Oh my god, guys. We're... We're almost at the Elite. We're almost at the Elite Four. This series, it's been such a fun series so far, but it's almost over. My god, I did not think that this game would end so quickly. I started recording this like three weeks ago. I mean, this isn't as crazy as uh, Paper Mario was when I recorded like the entirety of the series over three days, I think. And then I didn't render, I didn't release any of it until it was all uploaded. So, yeah, that was a thing. But, guys. We are here at the start, at the entrance of Victory Road. I think we're going to end things off here because we have made a lot of progress in this episode. Granted, we didn't do a huge amount of stuff. We fought our rival, but hey, he had a terrifying team, so that was quite the battle. But like I said, I think I'm going to end things off here. Uh, I do hope that you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please do leave it a like. It always helps out quite a bit. And yeah, that's going to be all for now. I'll see you all again in the next part. So until then, farewell.